सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इज लॉट ऑफ पीपल टोल्ड मी आफ्टर द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ द पोलो सर्विस विच वॉज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्थ इंजन ऑयल नॉट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वी एक्चुअली यूज वर्थ इंजन ऑयल एंड अलॉट ऑफ पीपल टोल्ड मी दैट लिक्वी मोली इज अ ब्रांड ऑफ वर्थ सो दे आर टेक्निकली द सेम प्रोडक्ट्स एंड दे आर सेलिंग इट ऑन टू डिफरेंट प्राइसेस दैट ड्यू टू मार्केटिंग टैक्टिक्स एंड सो I am one of those people who actually used of uh, used both of them, and uh, I felt the difference. So, I decided to make a video. Uh, I have driven close to four thousand kilometers on Worth, and uh, now I am again putting Liqui Moly after flushing the Worth, so, and we will uh, judge the results on three parameters. First is the noise level inside the cabin. I'll place the phone exactly here over the gear lever for ten seconds uh, on a app which is called Sound Meter, and we'll take a average of ten seconds. Uh, and the second one is called Vibration Meter. We'll put the phone on the uh, co-passenger seat, and again we'll take the ten uh, second average data. And the third and the last, we are going to use a OBD tool to check the load on engine while it's on idle. and st- with steering at the center position air conditioning turned off and the stereo as well turned off so these three things uh, will tell us which engine oil is better on terms of uh, reducing friction noise level plus vibration levels and i guess these are the three things we expect from a engine oil so first thing we are going to check is uh, the load on engine as this time uh, air conditioning is running I'm going to switch the air conditioning off and the stereo is already off. I'm going to turn the steering wheel to exact center so that there uh, there is no uh, input command to the power steering motor to work. So the load on the engine at this point of time according to the OBD interface is 23.9. I'm going to turn the air conditioning off now. with the blower off and central uh, climate control as well off so the load on idle is close to 14 or 15% will take a average of 15 uh, now we are going to uh, check the cabin noise exactly above the gear lever uh, for 10 to 15 second and we'll take the average uh, this is the 15 uh, second mark so i'm going to clear it and do the test again and the average is 69.6 and the next test is uh vibration meter uh we are going to do it uh, with phone on the seat and i'm going to reset it same again for uh, close to 10 seconds and the average is close to uh 2.53 somewhere and we're going to compare this to the liquid molly
सो विडना सर्विस एट एटी थ्री वन जीरो फोर आई हैव पुट लिक्विमोली नाउ एंड आई विल ड्राइव इट क्लोज टू फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स टू गिव द ऑयल इनफ टाइम टू ब्रेक इन देन वील परफॉर्म द सेम टेस्ट वट वी डिड जस्ट आर एगो एंड विल शो यू द रिजल्ट सो आफ्टर फोर फोर डेज एंड हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेम टेस्ट अगेन एंड आई एम गोन रीसेट दिस साउंड मीटर एग्जैक्टली अब द गेयर लिवर and the average for 15 seconds is close to 68 which is around 1 uh, and a half decibels less than before and the next test is a uh, vibration meter till the first marker of 10 seconds and we are done the average is 2.1 the next next test is engine load the connector got connected and the load is showing 15.3 and it's fluctuating a lot less than before which was which was 14.9 to 15.5 67 uh, the only difference is less fluctuations nothing major and hopefully it will clear the doubt of those people who think uh, liquid moly and worth products are the same